So in this session three, we are going to look at fields of political science. There are specific fields in political science which one can dedicate oneself and study in middle. We have a lot of subfields in political science. We have the political philosophy. That one, I think recently most schools don't know. We have the political field. This is a study of theories that people have postulated. They are used to explain the cost of many things. But then, for instance, we when we talk about talk about theory, people have made a lot of theories. We look at it. Various perspective, look at the first generation. Then we'll, the other one is the political behavior and public uh, opinion. The political behavior part of political science are those people like I call the behavioralists, those people that believe that if you want to study political science, not the state, look at the behaviors of the individual. Then political parties and interest group is legislative, legislative process. This one is when you are trying to study government itself. Public administration and executive process, comparative government and politics, political development, international relations, a lot of fields are involved. We have the field of conflict, uh, conflict resolution and peace studies. We also have the field of, we also have the field of uh, counter terrorism and uh, insurgency. It's a new field in international and in political science. Now we're going to look at the relationship between political science and other branches of learning. Relations, like I said earlier, political science cannot, cannot stand on its own. Political science cannot stand on its own. It has relationship with a lot of, a lot of social science, a lot of uh, disciplines. It is related with sociology, it is related with history, economy, psychology, uh, law, geography, and a lot of them. Relationship of political science with sociology. Like I said, sociology is the parent science of all social science. It is science of the society, viewed as an aggregate of individual or main science in their associative process. There is no way political science can stand without relation with sociology. Because sociology, in as as political science studies man as a political group. Political science is interested in looking at Social science, the sociology is interested in looking at the society. And the parent in that society is the e human beings. Human beings are key work, key work, key actors of, polit of political science. They are key actors of political science. Next one. Relationship of political science with political sociology is the next one. Relationship of political science with anthropology. Anthropology deals with man's racial division and physical characteristics, geographic division, environment and social relations, and cultural cultural development. There is no way we we'll study political science. We can't without looking at the ge geographical division of our, our society. We can't look at the physical characteristics of our society. We can't look at our social relations and our cultural development. It is important. The next slide. Relationship of political science with history. There is no way, like we've established it in the fact that the scope of political science covers what? It covers the study of the state. The scope of the place in the past. That is where history comes in. That if you must study political science, it is important that you look at the history. Hence, the relationship between political science and history. Political science is related with economics. In the sense that economy, economics looks at the survival of man from the economic angle. And political science is seeking power. It's the study of how to acquire power, how to make decisions, how to allocate value and resources. And when you talk about allocation of resources, economy is common. So both of them are related.